The sun is essentially the thing that gives us life, and it's also the same thing that can completely destroy it all. This photo was captured very recently in April 2017. This shows a medium-sized solar flare. This shows a plume of plasma getting sent up into space, and this is also the strongest solar flare we've had in 2017. Number 25, Solar Flare, 1973. This photo was taken in 1973 and gives you an idea what a pretty big solar flare looks like. If solar flares are big enough, they could cause power outages all over the world. It was captured by the Apollo telescope, and this appears to be the largest ever captured on camera. The solar flare in this photo would have shot out about 365,000 miles into space. Number 24, Simply Massive. The sun is primarily made up of helium and hydrogen, and one million Earths could fit inside the sun. In fact, the sun makes up 99.86% of the mass in our solar system, and it should come to no surprise that Mercury is hard to spot in this image. This teeny tiny little dot you see in this photo is Mercury, the next place we're about to talk about. Number 23, Sunrise on Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and it seems to share more resemblance to our moon than any other kind of planet out there. Due to its proximity of only about 36 million miles from the sun, it only takes 88 days for a full orbit. This is the smallest planet on our solar system, but surprisingly, the second hottest, and night temperatures here can reach negative 173 degrees Celsius, or 279 Fahrenheit. Number 22, the first. Here we see the first image captured by NASA of this planet in 1974 by the Mariner satellite. The probe got as close as 3.3 million miles from the surface. The photos reveal a pretty crater-filled crust, and it's actually the most crater-filled surface in the solar system. Number 21, Venus. In case you were wondering, the planet Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, which can reach 462 degrees Celsius or 863 degrees Fahrenheit. Here in this photo, we see the northern hemisphere of this planet, and the surface is constantly draped with clouds of sulfuric gas. Venus is actually about the same size as Earth and is often referred to as a sister planet. This one was captured in 1996 and slightly altered using radar in order to plot out the geological surface of Venus. Number 20, the surface. Venus would be an absolutely horrible place to be if somehow you ended up there and if you were able to witness what was going on on this planet. Here in this image, we see an artist's portrayal of the surface of Venus, which is constantly struck with lightning. Instead of blue skies, a sulfuric yellow is what you're going to see. However, unique to our solar system, the lightning here isn't caused by water clouds, but sulfuric clouds instead, which can't be good. Number 19, 1982, Vibera 13. It's hard to believe there were any successful photos taken on the surface of this crazy planet. This image was captured in 1982 by a Russian probe called Venera 13. Yellow mustard-colored gas pretty much takes over the sky. The mission was quite a big success, and an unbelievable amount of knowledge was gained, and they even took a soil sample with them. Number 18, Earth and the Moon. So about 92 million miles away from the sun, you'll find a rocky planet with liquid water oceans, an atmosphere, and it seems to be just the right place for life, for the most part. This image was captured in 1998 by the Galileo spacecraft displaying the continent of South America on the left and the moon to the right. Number 17, Hurricane Edward. Although the storms on Venus are much more worse than on Earth, we still get our fair share of bad weather. Here in this image, we see Hurricane Edward pass through the Atlantic Ocean. And yes, from this photo, you can tell the Earth is round. Or is it? Number 16, Mars. The next planet on our list, and the next one in our solar system, is planet Mars. It's also nicknamed the Red Planet for obvious reasons. It's home to some intense windstorms, and 14 successful missions have been conducted that resulted in landing on the surface. Number 15, Olympus Mons. The tallest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons, and you can see it rather clearly in this image, popping out from the surface. This was captured by the Phoenix Mars Lander in 2008, and this volcano rises 13 miles high. Number 14, Moons. Here in this photo, we see Mars and its two moons, which are both heavily cratered and not perfectly spherical. The closest one we see is called Phobos, while the other one is called Deimos. The closest one we see is called Phobos, and the one further out is called Deimos. Mars is located within close proximity to an asteroid belt, so that certainly doesn't help these moons from not being bombarded with flying space debris. Number 13, Jupiter. 
Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and this gas giant is home to some colorful storms, which we're about to mention. Unlike the last four we mentioned, Jupiter is considered to be a gas giant, and it's about 2.5 times as massive as all the planets in our solar system put together. Here we see aurora storms, which is when high-energy particles enter the atmosphere near the North Pole. It's sort of like the aurora borealis we see on Earth, but on a much bigger scale, since Jupiter has the biggest, most powerful magnetic field out there. Number 12, Red Eye. Imagine a massive hurricane three times the size of Earth. Located in Jupiter's southern hemisphere is the massive Red Eye, which is a continual, seemingly never-ending storm going on on this planet. Number 11, The Moons. This planet is so massive and has such a strong gravitational force that it actually has 67 known moons. Europa and Io are some of Jupiter's largest moons, and they're both captured in this image by NASA's Voyager 1. Io is on the left side and Europa is on the right. Number 10, the surface of Europa. The moon of Europa is extremely unique and is covered in a thick layer of ice. Not only that, satellites have detected thermal energy here and have seen water vapor coming out from the surface. Scientists ponder the possibility of life on this planet since there's liquid water underneath the frozen ice sheets. Number 9, Saturn. The sixth planet from the Sun is Saturn, and this is another gas giant, but much smaller than Jupiter. Saturn is mostly known for its rings that surround it. If you're an amateur astronomer, this is one of the coolest planets to look at because you can often see the rings on it. It takes 29 Earth years for it to make one lap around the Sun, and it's mostly made up of hydrogen with a metallic core. Number 8, Titan. Saturn has a total of 62 confirmed moons, just behind Jupiter for the most in the solar system. The one we see here, we can barely see the moon Titan, which mysteriously has oceans of liquid methane. Scientists have been debating whether or not life can form in these oceans extremely far away from the sun in this chemical. Number 7, the Titan Crescent. Imagine looking up to the sky and the moon was green instead of white like we're used to, or just seeing 60 of them. Here in this photo, we see what Titan might look like from Saturn's point of view during a crescent stage. Titan is actually larger than the planet of Mercury and almost has a planet-like atmosphere to it. It takes up 15,945 Earth days to rotate Saturn. The atmosphere has an orange haze to it, which is mainly composed of 90% nitrogen and 5% methane. The orange haze, however, is still somewhat of a mystery. Number 6, the surface. It's very hard to tell what Titan's surface actually looks like, but we know there's an atmosphere and we know there's liquid methane. It's best to show you an artist's portrayal that we think would be the most accurate. This is an illustration by Ron Miller and it shows the liquid pools of methane and also the strange atmosphere on this moon. Number 5, Uranus. Little did you know that photos of Uranus were on the internet. Once we venture off deep into space, it's a little bit more complicated getting images like this. Only one spacecraft called the Voyager 2 has actually passed by it. The deep blue color would make you believe this is filled with a blue ocean, but it's not. It's actually blue because it absorbs red light from the sun and reflects blue light. Number 4, Neptune. Neptune is the Roman god of the sea, and you can tell it looks somewhat similar to Uranus, only bluer. This thing takes 164.8 Earth years to fully orbit the Sun, and it's only about 2.7 billion miles away. This was taken by the Voyager 2 satellite, and you can tell it has a few blue spots in different places. Number 3, Triton. This image is computer generated to fit both Neptune and Triton in the same photo, but reimagine an image like this in our solar system is possible. Neptune has a ring system, but also 14 different moons. The most notable one is Triton, which has a crazy geological system. On this moon, there's volcanoes, but do you really think volcanoes are going to spew out hot lava from billions of miles away from the sun? Triton actually has volcanoes that shoot out liquid nitrogen, which is what we use on Earth to freeze things instantly, like warts. Number 2, Pluto. And finally, the last planet we have photos of is Pluto, thanks to the New Horizons Long Range Reconnaissance Orbiter. NASA believes that there is a 10th planet out there, but they haven't gotten any photos for us yet. Many have debated whether or not this is a planet, or a dwarf planet, or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, it still orbits the sun. Named after the Greek god of the underworld, Pluto is certainly a dark place to be. It's situated about 3.6 billion miles away and has a rocky rough surface. And number 1, Comet Halley. 
Halley's Comet is found in our solar system and we're able to see it every 75 years or so. It's very rare to witness this kind of thing, let alone try to catch a photo of it with a satellite. In 1986, this ball of dust and ice was caught on camera by the Giotto satellite. It's very rare to see the nucleus of this comet in such detail.